The Encounter It was a crisp autumn evening when Catherine found herself wandering through the gardens of a stately manor. The fading light of the setting sun bathed the landscape in a warm golden hue, casting long shadows on the meticulously manicured lawns. As a governess for the wealthy McAllister family, Catherine was tasked with looking after their two young children, but on this particular evening, she found herself with a rare moment of solitude. As she strolled along the garden path, the sound of laughter reached her ears. Intrigued, Catherine followed the soft melodic sound until she discovered its source, a young man and woman, locked in a passionate embrace beneath a weeping willow tree. She knew she should look away, give them their privacy, but she found herself captivated by their forbidden love. The man's strong arms encircled the woman's delicate frame, and their lips met in a fervent kiss. Their whispered words of affection floated through the air, barely audible but filled with a yearning that tugged at Catherine's heart. It was a love she had only ever dreamed of, forbidden to her by the strict societal rules that governed her position. Days turned into weeks, and Catherine couldn't shake the memory of the forbidden lovers from her mind. She found herself growing more restless, yearning for something more in her life. The McAllister household was a place of opulence and extravagance, but it lacked the one thing Catherine craved, passionate love. One evening, as she tucked the children into bed, Catherine overheard a whispered conversation between the McAllister's housemaid, Margaret, and the gardener, James. Their hushed tones hinted at a secret rendezvous, hidden beneath the watchful eyes of the manor's occupants. Intrigued, Catherine found herself drawn to their whispered exchanges, longing to experience the same intoxicating connection she had witnessed beneath the willow tree. Under the cover of darkness, Catherine ventured out of the manor and into the moonlit gardens. She followed the path she had seen Margaret and James take, her heart pounding with anticipation. The scent of roses and jasmine filled the air, mingling with the faint sound of music drifting from a nearby conservatory. As Catherine approached the glass doors, her eyes widened at the sight before her. Bathed in the soft glow of candlelight, Margaret and James danced, their bodies moving in perfect harmony. Their forbidden love had become a secret dance, each step a whisper of their hidden desires. The music swelled, filling the air with its melancholic melody. Catherine found herself stepping closer, unable to resist the allure of their passionate union. And then, as if sensing her presence, Margaret and James halted their dance, their eyes meeting Catherine's with a mixture of surprise and apprehension. The three of them stood frozen in time, their secrets laid bare in the moonlit conservatory. Catherine's cheeks flushed with embarrassment as she realized the audacity of her intrusion. But instead of anger or reproach, Margaret and James exchanged a knowing glance, their expressions softening with understanding. Margaret stepped forward, her voice barely above a whisper. Catherine, we've watched you, observed your longing. We can offer you the same love, the same freedom. Catherine's heart soared at the thought. The idea of an alliance, a clandestine union formed out of their shared desire for passion and love, filled her with a newfound sense of hope. They would embark on a journey of whispered promises, secret rendezvous, and stolen moments, undaunted by the boundaries of society. Chapter 5, Love's Price As their forbidden alliance blossomed, Catherine, Margaret, and James found solace in each other's arms. Their love grew like a wildflower, untamed by the world outside their clandestine sanctuary. But as whispers of their affair began to circulate through the manor's halls, the trio knew they were playing a dangerous game. The McAllister family, caught in the grip of scandal, sought to quell the rumors that threatened their reputation. Catherine, Margaret, and James became pawns in a desperate attempt to restore the family's honor. Their love, once whispered in the shadows, was now exposed to the harsh light of judgment and condemnation. Forced to make a choice, Catherine, Margaret, and James stood united. They refused to let society's expectations dictate their fate. They would face the consequences of their forbidden affair together, braving the storm of judgment and holding on to the whispers of love that had brought them together. Years passed, 
and the whispers of love that had once filled the halls of the McAllister Manor faded into memory. Catherine, Margaret, and James had found their freedom, their love transcending the boundaries of society's expectations. They had built a life together, away from prying eyes and harsh judgment. Their love story became a legend, whispered in hushed tones by those who dared to dream of a forbidden affair. And as the wind carried their tale to distant lands, it inspired others to seek love without limits, to embrace the whispers of their hearts, and to write their own stories of forbidden love. In the end, love knows no boundaries, and its whispers can ignite even the darkest of souls, bringing light to the most forbidden of affairs.